are you planning to go for cmd surgery interviews are you planning to write cpc certification exam are you working as a live cmd surgery coder but still you are having confusion about integumentary system if the answer is yes the answer is here in today's session we are going to learn most common cmd surgery procedure integumentary system cpt guidelines with scenarios my name is harish gupta medical coder process trainer for ambulatory surgery coding and content creator for fast coder 21 free medical coding youtube channel in my channel you will get ict 10 cm cpt ic peaks coding updates as well as apcs free ceo webinars as well as you will get latest updates about medical coding jobs spread over usa india and uae so our topic today is cpt guidelines with example scenarios session 1 integumentary system so in this session we are going to learn cpt guidelines with three example scenarios and in this session i am going to teach you how to lead the index in order to code proper cpt code so now we are having first scenario so patient is a 27 year old male who had a biopsy that indicated for positive for malignant margins anteriorly on the right side of her neck so here our location is neck and what is the condition it is a malignant lesion and a 0.5 cm margin was drawn drawn out and a 17 blade scalpel was used for full excision of 8 cm lesion laid closure was performed after the removal the specimen was sent for permanent histopathological examination what are your cpt codes so basically guys whenever you see any operative report in order to code it properly we need to identify the keywords so here what is the first keyword here so malignant lesion is the first keyword as physician is mentioned positive for malignant margins so that is the first keyword next we need to check for location of the malignant lesion so in our scenario it is on the neck and next we need to check what is the procedure physician is performing here so basically here physician is performing excision so next keyword we need to find what is the dimension of the lesion so here they have mentioned it as 8 cm so next layered closure so here physician has performed layer closure so this will become fifth keyword so first keyword is for malignant lesion second keyword is for neck third keyword is for the exact procedure physician performing is excision so that is the third keyword and fourth keyword is dimension of the lesion which is 8 cm and last and fifth keyword is what type of repair physician performed so it is a layered closure now we need to find the answer so what is physician is performing here so excision so physician is performing excision so all of you go to your cpt index and find excision at the keyword in your cpt book index and excision so what type of malignant neoplasm it is so it is basically skin neoplasm so in excision you can go to skin in the skin if you check we have multiple codes for benign and malignant so based on our pathology or uh, based on our document it is a malignant lesion so here we need to check malignant lesion codes 11600 to 11646 so here our answer is 11626 if you want directly you can go to your cpt index and you can enter scalp as scalp and neck comes under same anatomical area so you can check scalp also and you can find there also lesion excision malignant so based on our operative report physician has performed excision of 8 cm lesion so and if you check our 11626 uh, like cpt code description excision say a correct physician is performing the excision and next malignant lesion so as based on our operative report it is a malignant lesion including margins and also based on our report this malignant lesion is on the neck area so if you check that the code description so we can use 11626 is for 
scalp, neck, hands, feet and genitalia. So excess diameter over 4 cm. So what is our diameter of the lesion? So ours is 8 cm. So directly 11626 is the correct answer for excision of 8 cm malignant lesion from the neck. Next, we need to code for 12044. So, you, you will be in a confusion here. Here, we need to use the CPT guidelines. So, basically, based on CPT guidelines, if the physician performs any type of benign or malignant lesion excision with intermediate or complex repair, we need to code separately. So, based on or using that guideline, as physician has performed layered closure here, we need to code 120. 44 along with 51 modifier as physician is performing both procedures on the same location. So if you check our keyword here it is mentioned as layered closure. So CP, based on CPT guidelines if the physician performs layered closure we need to use 12044. So if you check the code description now we will repair intermediate wounds of neck, hands, feet and our external genitalia. 7.6 cm to 12.5 cm. As based on our operative report, our location of the lesion is the neck and also it is intermediate repair as physician mentioned layered closure and also our repair is 8 cm. So based on that we need to code 12044. So now we will check for index for 12044. In order to find this code 12044 you need to go to wound in your CPT code book and you need to find repair as a sub term. Under sub term we have multiple locations provided among those neck is also one where if you check neck intermediate repair 12041 12042 12044247 as our dimension of the repair is or closure is more than 7.6 cm so here we need to code 12044 so what did we learn in this scenario so in this scenario in order to code this scenario first you need to check type of lesion whether it is benign or malignant next you need to check location of the lesion so which is neck next we need to check for any margins so most of the cpt codes including margins so if physician mentions margins you need to combine margins with the lesion size next you need to check what is the exact procedure physician is performing here in our scenario physician is performing excision so what is the dimension of the lesion so based on this document the lesion size is 8 centimeter next how does the physician is performing the closure so here physician is performing the layered closure so here most important cpt guideline you need to remember here is Whenever physician performs benign or malignant lesions along with intermediate or complex repair, we need to code intermediate uh, and or complex repair CPT codes along with excision of benign or malignant lesion code. So based on or uh, using those guidelines, we have coded 11626 and 120451 modifier. So stating that same uh, multiple procedures are performed on the same area. So now we will practice second scenario. So here patient is a 45 year old female who is having 15 square centimeter debridement performed on an infected ulcer with a scar on the right foot. So using sharp dissection the ulcer was debrided all the way to the bone of the foot. The bone had to be minimally trimmed because of sharp point at the end of the metatarsal. So after debreeding the area, there was minimal bleeding because of very poor circulation of the foot. It seems that the toes next to the ulcer may have some involvement and cultures were taken. The area was dressed with sterile saline and dressings and then wrapped. How do you code this procedure? So as soon as you see the procedure, you need to identify why the physician is performing this procedure so here as patient is having ulcer physician is performing the procedure so next you need to check what is the procedure physician is performing here so here physician is performing the debridement okay so next in debridement based on cpt guidelines we need to check debridement depth 
so here based on our scenario so here debridement depth is to bone level so if you check here bone of the foot so here debridement is until the bone level so next we need to check what are the square centimeter so as here physician has mentioned 15 square centimeter we don't need to much worry about this directly we can calculate 15 square centimeter so here our answer is 11044 so now we will check this 11044 in the index so if you don't know the answer just you can follow this index lead you can find the correct answer so if you find if you want to find debridement in the index it is very very super easy directly you can go to debridement as the keyword in your index and directly under the ankle you can see bone as based on our documentation physician has performed debridement until the bone of the foot so we need to uh, like consider that it is a bone level debridement if you see here bone of the foot so if you go to debridement in the index and if you check bone you will find 11044 and 11047 so based on our documentation so it is uh, like 15 square centimeter so if you check 11044 code description debridement bone yes correct so debridement is the procedure performed by the physician a physician has performed debridement until the bone level next we need to check for dimension which is in square centimeter so our document contains 15 square centimeter so if you check 11044 description it is less than 20 square centimeter so ours is 15 square centimeter which is less than 20 square centimeter so here we can code 11044 debridement bone first 20 square centimeters or less guys please like comment share and subscribe fastcode 21 so if you like this session this session will go to other people they will get benefit from this video and directly it will motivate me to provide more valuable sessions if you have any concerns please mention in the comment section of this video so what is the guideline in this scenario in the cpt guidelines for debridement is we need to code based on the depth of the debridement performed so here physician has performed bone level debridement so we need to choose bone level debridement code so next we will learn third scenario so patient is a 51 year old female who has multiple sclerosis fell from her walker and landed on a glass table okay so she lacerated her forehead cheek and chin and the total length of these lacerations was 6 cm so patient has lacerations on forehead cheek chin and their dimension is 6 cm so next her right arm and right leg had deep cut measuring 5 cm on each extremity so the ed physician repaired the lacerations as follows so the forehead cheek and chin had debridement and cleansing of glass debris with lacerations being closed with 6o proline sutures the arm and leg were repaired by 6o vicral subcutaneous sutures and proline sutures on the skin the hand and foot were closed with adhesive strips select the appropriate procedure code here here our answers are 12053 12034 so here our keywords are basically physician is performing here the repair so our answers are 12053 and 12034 so what is the guideline here so based on cpt guidelines if the physician performs wound repair along with debridement and cleansing of glass debris we need to code intermediate repair so based on this cpt guideline we need to code intermediate repair code here which are 12053 and 12034 so 12053 is for repair yes physician is performing the repair next intermediate yes physician is performing debridement and cleansing of oh, glass debris so we need to code intermediate next wounds of face yes our location is forehead cheek and chin ear sealet mucosum 5.1 cm to 7.5 cm our physician has performed repair of 6 cm which comes under 5.1 to 7.5 cm so we need to code 12053 next we need to code for extremities 
So based on CPT guidelines, we can combine the dimensions of repairs. So here one two zero three four. Next one. So if you check the code description here, repair. Yeah, repair performed by the physician. So which is intermediate repair as physician has performed debridement and cleansing of a glass debris, and also which is on the extremities, excluding hands and feet. So dimensions are 7.6 centimeter to 12.5 centimeter. As based on our documentation, so physician has performed right arm and leg deep cuts, measuring 5 centimeters on each extremity. So here, which is included extremity, each extremity we can combine. So 5 plus 5, 10 centimeter. So here we need to cut 7.6 centimeter to 12.5 centimeter. Yes, our 10 centimeter. Comes under 7.6 to 12.5. Now we will check in the index. So here also, if you open your CPT book directly, you can go to repair. Under repair, you can find skin. Under skin, you need to check for wound. Then intermediate repair. So we will see 120312120557. So among these, you need to choose your appropriate CPT codes. So here you might have a doubt that. Why we have added 59 modifier? So as physician is performing this repair on multiple locations, we need to append 59 modifier. And based on CPT guidelines, we need to give 59 modifier to the lower value code. So among 12053 and 12034, 12034 is having the lower value. So otherwise, we need to check NCC guidelines, NCCI guidelines, and we need to append the 59 modifier guys i hope this session is very uh, useful for you so if you have any doubt please mention in the comment section and also please like comment share and subscribe passcode 21 if you are visiting for the first time